What's up subscribers? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to be discussing a company that I'm quite familiar with because of my medical specialty, Avanos. We'll be taking a look at Avanos's business model, discussing their medical technology, looking at their financials and stock chart, and also discussing my price predictions. But first, if you'd like to get updates about our new videos discussing the stock market and personal finances, as well as being entered into our 1,000 subscriber giveaway, be sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And while you're down there, be sure to check out the links in the description to get your free shares of stock from Robinhood and Webull if you haven't already. So with all of that being said, grab a cup of coffee or your favorite beverage of choice and let's jump into it. Avanos, trading under the ticker AVNS, is a medical technology company formerly known as Halyard Health. Avanos provides a portfolio of products focused on surgical and interventional pain management, respiratory, and digestive health. Its products include post-operative pain management solutions, minimally invasive interventional or chronic pain therapies, closed airway suction systems, and enteral feeding tubes. For those of you who aren't aware, I'm currently in my final year of residency and then will be doing a fellowship in interventional pain management. So with that being said, I want to spend the next couple minutes or so giving you guys my perspective on one of Avanos's major medical technologies, Coolleaf, their cooled radio frequency ablation technology. Without getting too far into the weeds here, radio frequency ablation is an interventional pain procedure in which we utilize a needle that has an active tip that's an electrode. We then utilize that needle to essentially burn the nerve that is carrying the pain signal from the joint to the brain. Whenever I'm explaining this procedure to patients, I like to compare a nerve to an electrical line. If you destroy the line that is carrying the painful signal to the brain, then the brain will be unable to experience that signal as a painful stimuli, and therefore, you'll be providing your patients with pain relief. Now, Avanos isn't the only medical equipment company that develops radio frequency ablation machines, but what sets them apart from the other companies is the Cool Leaf technology. Again, without getting too far into the weeds here discussing the physics behind a cooled RF, the way that the cooled RF machine works allows it to create a larger lesion size compared to the standard radio frequency machine. Essentially, this means that the cooled radio frequency machine is more likely to create a successful burn of the nerve. The reason that this is important is because nerves have a ton of variability from person to person regarding the way that they run. And whenever we do these procedures, we do them under x-ray guidance, which allows us to visualize bone very well, but we're unable to see soft tissue like nerves. So whenever this procedure is done, we're relying on bony landmarks where the nerve typically runs to make sure that we're putting the needle in the right location to perform the procedure. By utilizing Cool Leaf and its larger lesion size, we as physicians can ensure that we're performing an efficacious procedure that is going to provide our patients with adequate pain relief. And because the lesion size for Cool Leaf is much larger than the standard RFs, this has allowed Cool Leaf to make its technology applicable to other joints that previously were unamendable to radiofrequency ablation, such as the shoulder, the hip, and the knee. Like I mentioned earlier, Cool Leaf is only one aspect of Avanos' business model, but given my specialty, Cool Leaf is the aspect that I'm most familiar with, which is why I chose to focus this discussion talking about it. So with all of that being said, now let's go ahead and take a look at Avanos' financials. Taking a look at Avanos' most recent quarterly report, as of September 30th of this year, taking a look at their balance sheet, you can see that their total assets outweigh their total liabilities by over $1 billion. On that same earnings report, taking a look at their net income, you can see that they posted a net income of just shy of $20 million, which compared to year over year was a substantial improvement because one year ago during the same quarter, they actually reported a loss of around $11.5 million. At the time of recording this video, Avanos is trading at right around $46 per share. Looking at the one-year chart, Avanos is actually performing quite well and has nicely recovered from its lows back in March and April. But looking back further to around October of 2019, they are still off quite substantially about $30 from their all-time highs. In the short term, I certainly think that we could see a pullback in Avanos share price since it has performed so well this year. But honestly, I think that it's a strong buy where it's currently trading at. 
Avanos has a ton of growth ahead of it because of Cool Leaf and other aspects of its business, which I didn't even discuss in this video. And they have a very strong balance sheet. What are your thoughts about Avanos as a potential investment? Is this a company that you're interested in and would you consider investing in it? Where do you think that the share price is going in both the short term and the long term? And what are your price predictions? Be sure to comment down below and let me know what you think. And if there are any other particular companies or topics that you want me to talk about in future videos, please be sure to comment that down below as well. As a reminder, this video is for entertainment purposes only. I am not a certified financial planner. I'm a resident physician with an interest in personal finances and investing. Please make sure you're doing your own research before you make any financial decisions. If you haven't already, be sure to check out this video about how to participate in our 1000 subscriber giveaway. And please be sure to smash that like button and click on the subscribe button for the YouTube algorithm and to help support my channel. Thanks everyone. Have a great day.